Sir, before I start, I just want to know I'm not responsible in any way, shape, or form for the news that follows. I really have no interest in telling you what just occurred, but I know that since I am the messenger, you will find me first at fault. Nevertheless, I will continue with what I have to say. What is it you have to say to me, Private? Say this. I never did anything wrong, and I didn't see a man who done it. You can't punish me for something I didn't do. It's why you speak this way. You avoid what you have to tell me. So you have some unusual news to tell me of. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be something you're going to like. I don't want to be the one to tell you. Spit it out and get back to doing your job. Polynysus. Somebody buried him. Even after what he did to us. Even after you ordered no one to bury him. Or talk about him anymore, sir. Are you trying to tell me that someone in our regiment buried Polynysus? Well, I don't know who done it. They left no evidence of what they did. The enemy couldn't have done it, though. Woke up this morning. Nobody would say they did it. Most were surprised as me. No animal could have gotten to him. Everyone was shocked by this. Our regiment started fighting. Started to blame each other. Fighting broke up amongst each other. No one wanted to confront you. Everyone on night watch was arguing. All of us tried to think of ways to see who would be uh, the one to have to talk to you. These games went nowhere. When the blaming went back to me, I decided I'd be the one to tell you. People always shoot the messenger if he brings bad news. You're not mistaken. One of us had to have done it. Yeah. Well prepared speech for someone just trying to cover his rear. <laughs> it disgusts me that that traitor Polynice is in heaven after what he did. God can't forgive him for what he done. Some people in this army have no respect for authority. And I have of the mind that one of these idiots put someone up to the task to bury the body for an easy buck. People will do anything for money. Money corrupts even the best of men. It is the worst thing man has discovered. Soon the one responsible for this will be found. And when I find him, I will, I will... Private! Uh, yes sir. If you do not find the one responsible, you will be punished as if it were you. You will be shot dead, dead, dead. Right away, sir. Do I have permission to leave, sir? Get out of my sight, you disgust me. Yeah, I disgust you, but the one you should be worried about is the one who actually buried the body. Shut up, you bumbling buffoon. You did it for money. I know you did it for money. It's not my fault, but you can think that of me. Go! Revise your statement. If you do not find the one responsible, then I will hold you accountable for this travesty. Yeah, and I hope I find him. It's up to fate to find him, this fast jungle. Man is still the most powerful being on this planet. He can do whatever he wants, like travel the ocean, sky, and land by a cruiser, jeep, and helicopter. Why has he forsaken us here in this hellish jungle, while year after year he does nothing and watches us destroy each other while he sits idle? Man is superior to everything else on this earth because with my gun, I can go shooting birds, beasts, and fish. We make things like guns and explosives to cater our needs puts us above everybody else on earth. We do the learning and the speaking which we master good. We have figured out how to avoid the freezing winds and rain of Mother Nature has to throw at us. And we can figure out anything else that stands in the way of us and our fortunes. At least we die. <laughs> yeah, and assuming we don't die, all we have to do is just serve in this war. Yeah. And then come home and bring honor to ourselves and our country. Yeah. We cannot stray from the path God has given us, or else we shall be forsaken. Hey, ain't that Antigone over there? No, it can't be. Oh, what well, it is. What do you suppose she done? Something against Creon's orders. You know, I feel bad for him, you know, with his father and all that. Yeah. 